Heavenly Father God, we acknowledge you today. We welcome your presence, Lord Jesus. Indeed, you are alive. You rose from the dead and you ascended to heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father, sitting in the power, in, in, in authority, and in might. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are our high priest, our forever Melchizedek, our eternal high priest in glory in heaven. You are the Alpha and the Omega, without beginning, without end. And you are ever present. You are everywhere present because you are omnipresent. Thank you for your presence today through the presence of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we recognize you this morning. And we want to say thank you. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for touching our hearts. Thank you for making Jesus real in our lives. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for quickening our dead spirit, for breathing the life of God, the life of Jesus, the breath of life, the Ruah, the life that is eternal, the life that is abundant, the life that is purposeful. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the quickening spirit. The Apostle Paul says that we are dead in trespasses and sin. And yet the Holy Spirit quickened us. The Holy Spirit birthed us into your kingdom, into your family. We were born again in the Spirit. Lord, before we were dead in trespasses and, sin and sins, we are like those dry bones in the book of the prophet Ezekiel. And yet, Lord, you commanded the prophet to prophesy to those dead bones. Lord, Jesus, you don't only prophesy, but you make us alive. You redeem us by your blood. You gave your life so that we will have life. For you are the life and the resurrection. Those who believe in you, even though they die, they will still live. And you demonstrate that through your resurrection power when you rose from the dead. Lord Jesus, we want that resurrection power. Lord, to weaken us, to empower us, to strengthen us. Lord, we acknowledge our weaknesses. Lord, that in the flesh, in our own strength, we are nothing apart from you because you are the source of life. You breathe life unto us. Lord, you are the source of strength. You are the source of energy. You are the source of wisdom. You are the source of joy. You are the source of true peace. In this world, we will have many troubles. But in your presence, Lord, we will have, oh Lord God, perfect peace. Only in your presence, Lord Jesus, that we can receive perfect peace because you are perfect. Your love is perfect. Your peace that you offer to your people, Lord, to those who are weary and able than you promised them, you invited them to come to you. Jesus said, come to me. Come to Jesus today. Come to me, Jesus said. All who are weary and heavy laden, those who are downtrodden, those who are tired and discouraged, those who are depressed, come to Jesus. And Jesus promised, Lord, you will give us rest. Lord, you will give rest your people to the weary soul lord you are the living water the holy spirit is the rivers of living waters lord repress your people today repress our spirit repress our soul strengthen us with your might lord your divine power lord in the book of ezekiel you promise that you will sprinkle clean water in Ezekiel 36, 25 Lord God to 27 you promise us that you will sprinkle clean water on us you will purify our uncleanliness, you will purify our impurities you will purify our unrighteousness, you will purify our sins Lord, 
we humble ourselves, we repent from all of our sins, from all the wrong thoughts, wrong doings that we have done before you, Lord. Cleanse us with the word, cleanse us with the living water that you promise, O Lord God, in, in your word, in the scripture. And thank you, Lord, that you will not only cleanse us, but you will put your spirit within us and you will cause us to obey your commandments. Lord, we acknowledge that apart from you, we cannot obey your commandments because, Lord, we don't have the capability, we don't have the strength, we don't have the goodness in us. But because of Jesus, His imputed righteousness, because of your Holy Spirit who is strengthening us to obey, O oh Lord God, and to please you, and to honor you. Lord, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord Jesus, thank you. Everything is possible when we believe in you, when we yield to you, Lord, when we submit to the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Lord, comfort those who are mourning. Our brothers and sisters who pass away and their family members who are mourning like brother Daryl, O oh Lord God. Lord, comport this young brother, comport his mom and his siblings and family members in the name of Jesus. Lord, comport the family of brother Marlon who also passed away, his wife and his children, parents and siblings and family. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the wounded Savior, that you experience death, and therefore you can comport your people through the Holy Spirit, the Paracletos, the Companion, who never leave us, who never forsake us, the Holy Spirit who comported us in our sadness, in our loneliness. Lord, thank you. You don't leave us as an orphans. Lord, thank you that your presence live within us, that your presence remain in us, that we have a friend that is closer than a brother, that we have a companion who watch over us day and night, we have, we have a companion who loves us who, and who is faithful to us. We have, a, we, we have a companion who is a friend that is closer than a brother. And we can count on you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Lord, thank you for your comforting touch this morning. Holy Spirit, you are also the spirit of wisdom. To those who are confused, to those in the middle of crossroads, trying to make some hard decision in life that will affect their life forever. Lord, we pray for the spirit of wisdom. Pour out the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge and understanding to understand your perfect will and to understand your purpose in the lives of your people. Lord, guide your people for you are our guide. You will guide us into all truth, the spirit of truth. You don't want us, O oh Lord God, to make error decision, wrong decision that will, O oh Lord God, affect our lives, O oh Lord, that will bring destruction or curse into our lives. You want us to make the right decision, O oh Lord, just like your people in the scriptures. Lord, we have seen that in the life of Daniel over and over again, how you have given him the spirit of revelation and the spirit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding to understand your perfect will, even the events, O oh Lord God, in his day. You have, we have seen that in the life of Nehemiah, in the life of Joseph, in the life of Paul, your apostles and your disciples, Lord. We want to walk in wisdom. And we can only attain, O oh Lord God, godly wisdom from your Holy Spirit and from understanding your word. Lord, thank you that Christ is the wisdom of God. When we have Christ, we have the mind of Christ and we can activate the mind of Christ. Lord, we activate the mind of Christ today. We yield to the mind of Christ, the heavenly mind, not the earthly mind. Oh Lord, the, the, the whole mind, Lord, and not the mess up mind, the good mind, and not the toxic mind. Lord, we yield and submit to the mind of Christ, the godly mind, and, and not the worldly mind. Holy Spirit, we yield to you today. We choose to walk into your guidance. Father, thank you that you have given us a guide and a counselor and a friend. Father, we want to walk in the Spirit so that we can experience, O oh Lord, the fullness of your presence. 
so that we can discover all the spiritual blessings that you promised to your people that you oh Lord God bless us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places that we are heirs heirs of Christ according to your promise let us pray this prayer of alignment aligning into the will of God and walking in the spirit of the living God pray after me please Tell God, Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come and lead me today. Body, I command you in the name of Jesus to submit to my soul. My soul, in the name of Jesus, I command you to submit to my human born again spirit. My human spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus to submit to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead me, guide me, and fill me with the love of God, with the resurrection power of Christ. That I may please you and that, may, that I may honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. You've got the glory, saints. I can feel the presence of God in this place. The presence of God is in this place. Did you feel the presence of God? Did you experience the touch of the Holy Spirit this morning? Hallelujah. Encourage your brother and sister in the Lord. Tell him that there is no place like the presence of God. Do you believe that? Can you experience that in the world? Can you experience that in a disco house? In a pub house? No way. We can only experience that in the presence of God. There is no place like the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. And I want to appreciate all of those who raised funds, uh, supported, pray for our brother Edward. He was uh, in ICU for many days and declared dead, basically, in Muwaset Hospital. Uh, but by the grace of God, he is still alive and surviving by your prayers, by your support, and by your help. You know, the Bible says that we need to encourage one another, we need to support each other, and pray for one another. So a short video clip of Brother Edward and Sister Jen that will glorify God and also that will encourage us today. Please watch. Hello, LCC family, uh, friends and co-workers of Brother Edward. Today we are here in East Ward. We visited him and prayed for him, anoint him with anointing oil. Uh, I just want to uh, appreciate all of you for your prayers and financial support to this family, Brother Edward and Jen. Uh, I just want to ask and interview Sister Jen about her testimony, the progress of Brother Edward from Muwasat, ICU, uh, Mubarak, Al-Kabir, ICU, and now uh, Edward was transfer transferred into this ward. So Jen, ano yung... Uh, nangyari yung ginawa ng Lord, no? Paano yung mga pananangin mo ay sinagot ng ating Panginoon? At paano kayo nakaka-survive sa araw-araw ang iyong mga anak? Uh, pwede mong isa-isain kahit mga brief or short lang. Uh, ayun po ah. Una-una po salamat po sa Panginoon, sa kanyang kabutihan po at pag-ibig po sa amin ng pamilya ko po. And salamat po sa LCC family po, sa mga pastor po, sa mga kapatid po na patuloy na nananalangin po sa aking asawa. God is good po talaga sa buhay po natin. Unang-una po, nagkapasalamat po ko dahil ibinalik po niya si Edward. Unang-una pa lang po yung miracle niya kay Edward na na si Edward po is nag-question mark na po yung kanyang heartbeat. Amen. Pero po nung sumigaw ko sa Panginoon, sabi ko, Jesus, sabi ko, ibalik mo yung asawa ko. Wow. And after that po, na ano po na mga nurses na yun nga po, sabi po nila is survivor daw po yung asawa ko kasi nalagpasan po niya yung death 
na yung kamatayan pero ngayon po buhay na buhay Amen. po yung asawa ko. Ito po yung miracle Amen. ng Panginoon. Amen. Dalawang ICU na po yung iniligtas po ng Panginoon si Edward. Una, una po sa ICU po sa Muwasat na talagang araw-araw sinasabi po ng mga doktor na no chance daw po Amen. siya. Talagang inaano po nila sa amin na wala na daw po pag-asa pero hindi ko po hindi po ko naniniwala kasi ang pangako po ng Panginoon yung pinaniniwalaan ko kaya from ICU po ng Muwasa at inilipad po namin sa Mubarak and yun po patuloy po tayo na nalangin patuloy po kami na nalangin ng mga pastor po tapos po si Mami MJ na sabi ko po Lord sabi ko kung kaloob mo sabi ko ilabas mo yung asawa ko sa Amen. ICU para ka ako maalagaan ko siya <laughs> makasama niya ako at tinubad po ng Panginoon Amen. Ngayon po, po, siya at yes. lahat po ng favor, ng blessing binibigay po ng Panginoon. Yes. Ngayon, Kumusta yung inyong rent sa bahay? Ngayon hindi siya nagtatrabaho. Kumusta yung sweldo niya? Siya ba pinapasweldo ng oh, company? Oh, praise God po. Dahil yun po yung malaking tulong po dahil po uh, dalawang buwan na po pinapasahod po yung asawa ko sa kanyang yeah. company. <laughs> Glory to God. And then po kahapon po na pinagpipray lang po namin na sana po maka, maka-discount po kami sa bahay kahit pa paano. Pero kahapon po nakausap ko po yung may-ari ng ng flat po namin mismo and then sabi po niya, sabi niya it's okay, sabi niya don't pay sabi niya until your husband, sabi niya na bumalik wow, yung po that's so good amen, yung po discount po na nakuha po namin hindi lang po sa akin, pati po yung discount po para po sa bahay po ng ate ko yun po, sa alaga po yung ate mo siya yung nag-aalaga, uh, po, hindi so, rin siya nagtatrabaho ngayon, wow, God bless your ate po, po. your ate loves you and Edward, amen. no? para maalagaan yung mga anak oh, ninyo Wow. So, you have heard the powerful testimony of our sister and Edward, how the Lord moved into their life. So, paano kumilos ang Panginoon sa kanilang mga buhay, ano? pati yung kanilang pangangailangang uh, pinansyal ay pinagkakaloob ng Diyos. Magtiwala lamang po tayo sa ating Panginoon. Trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean to our own understanding. In all our ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct our paths and He will provide for our needs. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Jen. Sana makagandang interview at testimony mo. Si Brother Edward, magising na gising. Gagaling ito pa ni Lord Bro, ha? Amen? Amen? Yes? Brother Edward? <laughs> Ayun, tumatang mo siya. At kumukura, pagalingin pa ng Panginoon yung lig mo, palakasin ka pa ng Panginoon. Kasi maraming nananalangin sa'yo. Amen? Mga kapatiran, kaibigan, kakilala, katrabaho, at lalong-lalo na ang iyong asawa. So God bless you, Brother Edward. God bless. Prayer works, especially the prayer of faith. Amen. Thank you for all of you who prayed for Brother Edward and Sister Jen. We have seen miracle. We have seen God's provision. Uh, let us stand. Let us pray for these people.